guys, this is Arnav Nanda Chaudhary. Hope you people are having a great time after GATE exam. But I am sure there are many questions in your mind, like what is going to be the cutoff, what will be your ranking, which IIT or NIT you will get a call from. So guys, today we are here with the GATE Chemical Engineering 2018 paper analysis video where we mainly touch upon the subject-wise distributions and their weightage. We take off our analysis with the difficulty level of the paper followed by weightage per subject then we go to the expected approach for this paper and finally we see the predicted cutoff which is the need of the hour. So how was the paper? Cool, moderate, hard to crack? Well from what we can observe, the paper was comparatively lengthy compared to last year. There were many numerical answer type questions which involved tedious calculations making the paper a low scoring one. So this time we can expect a cutoff which will be on the lower side. So now let's talk about the subject wise weightage. Questions wise it was an even distribution as you can see but marks wise chemical reaction engineering, mass transfer, heat transfer and PDC had the lion's share in the gate paper. What could have been the right approach to tackle this paper? Well this time in gate the aptitude part was maintained at a moderate level with the inclusion of permutation and combination and with the expected base score of 12. Whereas in mathematics, the topics covered from differential equations, calculus, probability and numerical methods maintain the difficulty level at moderate with the expected base score of 7 to 8. But as mathematics passed by, the temperature started rising up, giving away undesirable reactions, which made chemical reaction engineering really difficult and the base score touching down to 6. Now talking about mass transfer, which involved topics like distillation and drying, which had relatively simpler questions in the paper, but heat transfer had simpler but lengthier questions with topics like heat exchangers and conduction so we can expect a best score of 6 to 8 in both of them. However, the situation remained under control in case of fluid mechanics which involved questions from venturi meter and pitot tube and even in case of process dynamics and control which had questions from offset and PI controller so one can estimate the best score of 5 to 7 in fluid mechanics and 3 to 5 in case of process dynamics and control. In case of chemical technology, the questions were moderately difficult with topics involving polymers, sugar and petroleum industry whereas in case of process design and economics, the questions were relatively easier with topics from capitalized cost, cost index and optimization with the best score expected in economics from 4 to 5. Mechanical operations involved two questions from primary crushing and one match column question between types of equipments jumbled with their mechanical operations whereas this time in thermodynamics and process calculation the weightage was relatively lower compared to previous years with only one question from process calculation and three marks from thermodynamics. So now time to directly answer the prime question what is going to be the expected cutoff for gate 2018. Well, looking at the previous year's scenario, the word cutoff surely brings in clouds of tension over our minds. But summarizing everything, the difficulty level was at par with GATE 2016 paper organized by ISC Bangalore and the cutoff may be also expected to be in the same bracket, finally converging to around 38.33. In case you have a different cutoff in your mind, let us know in the comments section and do not forget to like and subscribe. We'll be back shortly with more informative videos. Till then, stay tuned and all the best.